Happy Feast of St. Vincent de Paul! All of us have experienced rejection in many and varied ways in our lives, but the challenge is in how we deal with it. This is Sister Gemma for today's Gospel Power. When the days drew near for Jesus to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered the village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. Jesus shared his powers with his apostles so that by curing the sick and expelling evil spirits, they might announce not only in word, but also in deed the coming of God's kingdom into the world. That was the exclusive purpose of the delegated kingdom powers. But now provoked by the inhospitality of the Samaritans, James and John want to use these kingdom powers to punish and destroy. Even these closest followers of Jesus are not exempt from the danger of abuse of power, which today is the cause of so much suffering in our world. When power is not recognized as a sacred trust, whose use must harmonize with the will of its ultimate divine source, then human freedom, distorted by sin, can easily misappropriate it for its own self-serving purposes. The teaching of Jesus in this episode is clear. Power must never be used to give vent to the violence in the human heart. Friends experiencing rejection from others is not that bad and they hurt us in any way, but in turn, this makes us humble and mature in our relationship and understanding of the human nature of others. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we surrender to you the violence that plagues our hearts. Help us to deal with it foundationally without harming anyone. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.